Last time on Wolfenstein the New Order. BJ Bleskowicz has been to the moon, but all he really wants is to reunite with Anya. And save the world from the Nazis. Daylight. Cold air. Still alive, it seems. Haha, <laughs> they're so mad. I think the reason they're so mad is I've got the nuclear codes. Hmm. This could be a tricky one. Eh. This guy's not gonna be much help. Um. Hmm. Okay. Some sort of heavy equipment is in use here. Right. We may need to fight back in a. Oh! Unconventional way. Uh, hard. Hey, it's the Nordica, I think. Or possibly some sort of hotel with similar stylings. Okay, this should be a little more tractable than the bridge scenario, at least. These guys are not so heavily armoured, and uh, they're not, you know, infuriated war machines. Oh, but I am completely out of ammunition. I've got a little bit of sniper stuff that might help. Yep, it's helping. I wish that alarm would shut up. That guy is a problem. This guy is no longer a problem. Did you see that? Fountain of blood that came out of his neck. Somewhat gory. Justified, I think, but gory. Have I got enough recharged ammo to shoot him yet? No, not quite. Aye, well, let's try that again. Mm, maybe what I should have done was come out of cover and find a better spot than behind that wall where I was regularly getting you know, hit by flying shrapnel and so on. And also I should pay attention to having a sniper rifle slightly earlier. What? Alarm. Oops. The guy literally jumped in front of the bullet. I don't mean literally, literally. He didn't jump. Um, he moved in front of the bullet unexpectedly to me and was thus shot. Oh yeah, I think I hit the metal twice there. Bad decision on my part. So I'm pretty sure these guys have... They do have... Oh no, they have AR ammo. That's not so great. Hmm. I could jump out the window again. That might feel better. How about I do a multi-shot thing here? This guy with. Okay, so that suppressed him long enough from being shot. Was, oh! Oh no! I'm in I'm so low on it. Okay, let's switch to rockets. Oh no! I just don't have the ability to really run out there because I don't have much health. I need to get to somewhere where there's more ammunition, so I've got to take this chance. It's good to be forced out of your comfort zone. Not so good to fail at it. <clears throat> I think BJ is doing fairly well for someone who just fell off the moon. But uh, I'm not doing so great as a video game player. Wow. This is the true power of normal difficulty. Seems like a good hiding spot, but unfortunately it's easy for them to throw grenades in there. That doesn't work well. Where do I want to position myself? I guess I don't want to position myself in a fixed spot. I want to be moving around. But there's so much gunfire coming from all directions that moving around is liable to just reduce your health to zero very quick. I did... I could just... No, actually. You don't have the option to jump back out the window. Probably a good thing. Well, 
Who are these people in their white uniforms and black caps? What sort of Nazis are they? I saw a woman back there who was very oddly dressed. I didn't really get a good look because I shot her in the head, but... He's going to jump down and try and get me. Not anymore. This weapon is fantastic, but once I run out of ammo for it, things get worse. Oh, wow. I just, uh... Huh. It's just not working out for me, that plan, because I don't kill people fast enough. They advance on me more and more, um, and I'm not driving them away and I run out of ammo. So what should I do instead? I, I could run. Oh, not, not like that, I couldn't. Wow, mistakes were made, gosh. I, I got stuck on a sofa for a while there. <laughs> Take out area commanders without being detected and they will not be able to set off the alarm. I'm pretty sure I've already been detected, thank you, loading screen tip. I guess I'll, I'll duck down here just in case no one's seen me. Somehow. Um, have I, in fact, not been detected? That's... Oh, no, that guy just saw me from behind a He was popping out from the behind a pillar waiting to kill me. They know why I'm here. Yeah, see, there's that guy. Look. Yeah, that was a fake not detected. It's just like proof former. This is a more solid thing to stand behind. Um, people up on the upper platforms can still get at me. But no one else can without coming close. Oh, so they come close. Well, fair enough. Cripe. Could it be that I just need to do the same thing I'm doing, but better? Hmm. Maybe I should also take a slightly better stock of my weapon resources. I might have more things than I realize I do. No, I don't. Main thing I've got is this marksman. So if I don't take good... So if I take, don't take good advantage of this right at the start, I'm kind of screwed because... Um... Oh, well, something exploded. When someone is actively hitting me, I've got to, to notice that and not just kind of try and kind of focus on continuing to attack. Because at that point, um, I'm wasting my health at basically like a, you know, a life meter. I mean, it's tritely so. It's literally a health meter. Uh, the point is, if I lose all of it, I'm dead, right? Therefore, I should strive not to do so, therefore, or otherwise. If those guys get close... They just pepper you, or um, shotgun you. Really, it is like a pepper. It's like a pepper shaker. Is the the analogy, but it's more like a shotgun blast. Hmm. Should I then focus on them, since the other guys I can duck away from for a long time? Should I try and use some of my long range attacks to to take out the guys who, if they get to me, will kill me? That makes sense, actually. thing is that the bullets just aren't as good against them. Well, I, I guess that means I should not use bullets. I should use, you know, this thing. That actually seems to have killed him. This might actually be a really successful plan in the end if I can avoid making more serious mistakes. Yeah, basically the fact that I'm no longer on a clock once there's no, um... Uh, what's the word? There's no shotgun soldier creeping up on me. Um, it means I can kind of just rely on regenerating health here to take me the rest of the way. I... These guys advance on me, but slowly. And when they... Oh no, I'm out of ammunition. I'm literally out of ammo for all of my weapons. Oh wait, no, I've got handguns. Okay. That was important to remember. 
Oh dear. Yeah, basically these guys only advance slowly. They prefer not to do it when being looked at. And um, if they get close, I can kill them. So that was actually the the, the key decision. Okay. The Nautica parking lot is um a long way down. Did you say the London Monitor? Oh, so what's this weapon? Uh, the Super Weapons Division has created the largest weapon in the world, far above space, a gigantic orbital mirror which can harness the power of the sun. Oh no. Um, so the Nazis have a death ray capable of incinerating cities and boiling the oceans. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's worrying. They seem to have only just bought it online. Maybe it doesn't work well yet. So it sounded to me like um, Nazis were attacking Kreisau Circle over in Berlin on the continent. Uh, and here I am stuck in London where I am informed the London Monitor is fully operational. So the London f Monitor is an older super weapon which they used to suppress the London resistance in the past, right? That's alarming. I can any more. Sadly, oh well, hang on. I've got this other thing. I forgot about the laser mode. Oh man. If I hadn't you know, forgotten about all my other ammunition there, it might have made things a little easier for me. Anyway. <laughs> Pity this mode doesn't have scope. Grenades. Right, can I head out the back ways? No. So I guess we're descending through this blown up section of the Nautica. This is probably from the last time I attacked it. <laughs> okay, there's not much point in sneaking here. Let's just do this. And this. I'm not sure why I'm doing that exactly. Okay. I'll get over this and continue further past? No, apparently not. Um, unless I jump, maybe? Come on. I'm kind of getting a hint here that this is not the direction I'm supposed to go in. Right, because I'm meant to go this way. So that's London, is it? In 1960. Hey, I saw that pop up. I saw that Creon is now playing Wolfenstein the New Order. You can't hide from me. Swastikas everywhere. And scaffolds. They certainly have built things, but also destroyed. They want to remake the whole world in their own image, basically. There's a ship of some kind. Minus skyscrapers, the Thames River. Alright, let's continue on. Hmm. That looks exceptionally dangerous. I wonder what would happen if I... did this. Oh, shit. Okay, that was what I wanted, more or less. That was basically okay. Could this be an electrical recharge? No, I get nothing whatsoever from that. Big Ben appears to be intact, but because this is a video game, I'm guessing that um, whatever kind of next enormous explosion or catastrophe happens will destroy the clock. Why is this crane so prominent in the skyline? Reminds me of Watch Dogs 2. <laughs> oh, I made myself cough by laughing, but um, oh, the Venus Project sounds really cool. But yeah, no, it's true, I am in fact coming this way, he did see me. Um, it just won't help them to know that. That's why it was funny. It's like, oh no, we think we have gained an advantage by being aware that BJ Blazkowicz is coming. But in fact, he, I will still kill them. Now that I've figured out a couple of things, anyway. Uh, hmm. Ah, Fletchets. There's a shotgun, fucker. That fucking, I hate those men! in the heavy armor with the, the big gun. Not the big gun, the shotgun. Ugh. Have you noticed, every scene in the game where you prominently fight shotgun guys, um, has those have been the ones I die repeatedly in. I'm just bad at it. The train station, uh, in the prison escape, now, possibly some other time I haven't thought of or claim not to recall, I don't know. 
the point is, um, I find them more difficult than other enemy types. Perhaps they, they are more difficult than other enemy types. It's not just me, I don't know. It could just be me. That guy's nice plant hiding, I guess. Plant-based camouflage. Oh, I heard that. Shit. Oh! There's someone here also. Basically, if you keep moving and stay far away from them... Oh, wait, no, I... This is not the right... This is... I said... <laughs> Please stop fletch hitting me. This is... Privilege. This is highly problematic. Okay, let's... Let's fight shotguns with shotguns here. Two can play at this shotgun. Fuck! Okay! Like I said, two, two can play at that game. Um, but wow, that was unexpected. And effective. Now... Let's grab some more shrapnel ammunition. This door I can now actually open. Because I'm no longer under constant threat of death. Merely because I've smashed my way into the building after crashing a space shuttle into it from the moon while carrying the nuclear launch codes. And head on out. I accidentally shot a gun there. I still keep thinking I should put on some kind of music over this game, because like, I could do with a more... The thing is, the soundtrack is good, but I would like it kind of turned up, amped up, the same thing more so. Hmm. Hmm. A uh, few different possibilities here. Perhaps uh, if I simply do this. Yeah, that was survivable. Any port in a storm. That looks less survivable. Uh, I'm kind of running on, on empty when it comes to survivability. So let's... That, that always... The whole thing vanished again. That seems to happen if you just kind of keep firing at it for some reason. Alright. No one taking this elevator? Well, it didn't do. Jeez, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's the kind of noise you should be making when I turn up. Everything just sort of... Did you say take out the... Oh, fuck. I was speaking to the mission objective text there. It popped up, take out the helicopter. And I was thinking, well... That implies there's a helicopter. I don't want to waste my rockets on these guys because there's a helicopter, so just, you know, do that stuff. I love that weapon. I hate it when it's used against me, but I like, you know, shooting people with it. So, have I got enough rockets to do this? Or any other way to do it, I wonder. That helped. I think I missed with that one. Surprisingly difficult to aim. And the thing is, is, you know, relatively agile. Oh no. It looked like it really got knocked around by that last hit, but uh, I think two rockets left. Ah, oh, that's the last one. Okay. No rockets now. We'll have to do this on grit and gumption alone. Oh, I guess it very nearly destroyed its superstructure or something. Cool. Anything to grab here? Bullets and guns and so on. Cool, 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 cool. Heimat. Is that, is that like the German for hazmat or something? I don't know. Clearly a dangerous... Is it? This was some kind of bar. Maybe they sold moon coffee. Who knows? They sold med packs, apparently. It was a commissary. Alright, oops. Who's fucking trying it on now? Look. I've just come back from destroying the moon. I've beaten, like, more than one of those guys who have shotguns. Do you think you phase me? You don't even laze me. If I had a grenade, I'd throw it right now. Probably why 
I don't. Keep throwing him. Oh, that reminds me. Throwing grenades um, puts me in mind of throwing knives, which puts me in mind of the perk list. How am I doing on the perk chart? So, what was that dual wield mastery thing I got at some point? Uh, it gave me ammo storage upgrade. Cool. And dismemberment chance increase. Yes, I've noticed some of those happening. <laughs> so what else have I got to do here? Three kills. I still haven't done that one. Uh, not releasing the fire buttons. Five kills in ten seconds using a detached turret gun. That's actually quite difficult. And reflection kills. Oh, I'd really like that. Hmm. Okay. Uh, silent takedowns with overcharged health. That's a weird one. Grenades and so on. Yeah, whatever. I, I've got the, the major perks that I really need. I will try a little bit, get more of them. But um, the game is, you know, continuing, progressing, etc. Time has passed. We're well into this. I do not think I'll be getting everything in the end. I've got enough ammo that I should really be dual wielding, which will give me you know, a better chance of getting certain perks. I'm overcharged, in theory I should start trying to take down people here. Okay. No, not okay. It's one of these rooms which don't go anywhere. So I still need to get to the ground floor. I guess this is the way onward then. It looks precarious, to be honest. I don't really think much of their construction methods. Or maybe it's that I do think much of the resistance's destruction methods. Since it was, after all, the Martha Bobby Graham who brought things to their current state. Palace, as it may be. Let's flank him. Uh, no, that's a yawning abyss. It's not the sort of thing you flank with. Oh, fuck, it's a abyss. The thing is, all you gotta do is you gotta kill them while they're a long way away from you. He's not a long way away anymore. Fuck. Getting closer and closer. Also, they're practically immune to bullets. Jesus Christ. I, I like I knew from the moment that the, the guy with the shotgun appeared, I knew he would shoot me with a shotgun and I would die. Uh, but in the heat of the moment I forgot about certain hard won life lessons such as ordinary bullets aren't good against them. What you've got to do is, for example, fight shotguns with shotguns. Uh, let me under here, please. Cool. Then down. Uh, yes. Jump. Hey, Matt, once again. Hey, Matt, people. I'm aiming at them. That's... These things are really bouncy. It's nice. Shouldn't be wasting them like that, though, should I? So what I gotta do is switch to a laser weapon. And I can't oh, I wasn't in weapon mode. Okay. A whole bunch of laser shots. Took him out in the end. But there's another one, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, so this is a normal enemy. That's fine. I can, I can kill this guy with bullets. From like an assault rifle. Well, two assault rifles. <laughs> Simultaneously, of course. My point is the level of, of difficulty varies there. There's variance. Alright, outside appears to be the way to continue down. What's this? Because this would be an ammunition cache. Nice. Oh, there's an ammunition cache. Onward. Nice Christmas lights. I remember stories about World War One. Germans and English people or whatever singing Silent Night in trenches. That clearly didn't happen here. It is a long way to Berlin. It didn't happen here, but my point is Christmas lights were still invented as a technology. There's a siren going on. So this is the London Nordica car park, which I note is full of construction materials as they're rebuilding the building. <laughs> hey, it's a London double-decker bus. Nice. 
but then there are like these massive neo-concrete overbuilt highways with swastikas lining them over the old store townhouses you can see that they're built over and around the city it's um contained london is not destroyed per se but it is imprisoned oh my god yes i i totally threw myself into the giant funnel uh no thank you i don't actually think i'll do that i could or i could just like get on this thing yeah that seems better i mean the funnel yeah I, i'm gonna take the lift <coughs> <laughs> Wait, monitor? What is that noise? Is that Death's Head's voice? No, it Yeah, okay. Did you say def defeat the London Monitor? How? Look at it! Bullets aren't going to do anything to it. But maybe lasers will. What is it? Oh. Well, so much for the tunnel. Holy shit. So, have we got, is it going to be like, remain concealed? No, indeed I won't. Do we have any like, glowing weak spots I can target? It does! Oh, I'm kind of out of electricity now. Seize causing damage to state property. <laughs> missiles. So it's firing missiles because it's blinded and they're guided. Okay, let's get out of here. Hiding compounds your criminal offence. What? Well, I guess, yeah, resisting arrest, basically. This tunnel's gonna, not gonna remain in tech much longer, is it? I'm not even sure what its main armament is, but uh, it's fairly effective. Whoever's piloting that thing has a sense of style. Oh shit, what is that? It went red and then and then this happened. Cripes. Oh, um, I guess that was all the electricity I had in me. Likely true, but not yet, not today. I'm gonna get back to Berlin first. <laughs> Oi. So it looks like when it charges up its missiles and things. I can actually shoot at them before it launches them to, to do quite a bit of damage to it, that's good. What is that jump for? Cease your criminal activity. I see. Cowboy shooting! <laughs> Oi! Okay, I get this. This is actually not too hard so far. I mean... I can see why it would be quite difficult for most people to deal with, but I'm pleased BJ Blazkowicz, so... So if you do that, then it has to... it's blinded, so it has to launch missiles at you instead. Big explosion! USA style! And if you hit the missiles just after they come out, they explode and destroy the missile battery. How cool! There are some flaws in this design. This thing is, I assume, the London Monitor. <laughs> I love, I love Karl Klaus's incredibly condescending encouragement. <laughs> he's, he's great. What a good character. Okay, is this thing being driven actively, I wonder? If so, the pilot has not really... I am. 
Although I may need to move shortly because I think I'm about to get stepped on. Um, yeah, I need to, to just go to a different place right now. Somewhere with less electricity, unfortunately, but more... Oh no, there's, there's, there's even electricity. Alright, now. Blind it. I just don't want to be stepped on. Cause I feel like that would might be instant death if that happened to me. Oh, although being hit with the missiles is pretty bad too. Okay, wow. Definitely sub-optimal. Oh shit. That's one of the main guns. Well, actually not main guns. That's actually completely not the right term. What I mean to say is that's one of the machine guns. Yeah, different concept. I can't see... Oh. I see the rule of law. That's a funny way to put it. Blind it, and... Now what? No missiles, what the fuck are you gonna do? Oh, it is, is it? Uh, yeah, no, it probably is. I... I understand this. They make the laws, so... yeah. So, hmm. There's got no missile launchers left. What happens now if I do that again? Okay. Okay, I'll try. You'll have to excuse me, I'm I'm being attacked by a, a giant robot. You know, it happens. Whoops. I think they zapped the outlet I was using there. Yes, yes, I, I get that idea. It's just, I'm just a little worried about getting stepped on, for example. It seems like a real possibility, to be honest. Hmm. Also, it's doing things, flame things. I think. I think it's. Oh, it's not heavy. Flashback? Yes. I know a lot about you. We have the same name. You know. William, it's true. William. But you call me Davis. I don't like it. I'm not You see? It doesn't sound right in English. Say it correctly. Running skull. Captain, we're in all sorts of trouble over here. Surprise attack. Couldn't fight them all. Everyone's scattered. I'm on the portable radio. They're inside. Totem cop. Thank you, Klaus. Can you uh can you actually drive to Berlin though? That seems infeasible. I hope we can make it back home on time. Berlin. Come in, Berlin. What's your status? We're imagining Captain. Hanging on, but don't know for how much longer. The Death Heads men are everywhere. Oh, I think your old friend Frau Angle is leading the attack. Death Head must have promoted her for her actions at the labor camp. And because she looks like him now, he likes seems to like that sort of thing. Trapped in here. Completely surrounded. Too much chaos. Lost track of the others. They're either dead or they're hiding. Max has J. They're gonna find all of us. Just a matter of time. Shit.
Okay, that's what we'll be doing next time.